Hey, what's up there, my fellow royal fans? Thank you for joining me today. Let's dive into some royal news. Prince Harry is no stranger to a song and dance, and his latest gig proves he doesn't mind performing in front of an audience, even if the audience is a bus full of tourists. From performing with Bon Jovi for his Invictus Games to singing with British-born actor James Corden, Prince Harry has given his vocal cords quite the workout. According to a report from People, Harry and James were spotted together, together earlier this week atop a double-decker bus. Zooming around Hollywood while they filmed Corden's classic carpool karaoke segment for his late, late show. They taped a COVID-appropriate segment of carpool karaoke on the double-decker. A source revealed, they have been friends for years and had a great time, a lot of joking and laughing and playing around together. James and Harry have indeed been pals for quite some time now, with the actor even attending the royal's wedding to Meghan Markle back in 2018. But although the Sussexes usually choose to embark on new projects together, Meghan was nowhere to be seen on the tourist bus. Back in December last year, Meghan and Harry debuted their new podcast under the joint Archwell Audio production company. Prior to that, the couple signed a reported $200 million deal with other streaming giant Netflix. For this Hollywood venture, it was just Harry, and apparently the royal was keen to discuss his life in the US and future plans with the talk show host. And it seems as though his plans are well and truly in the US, rather than back at Buckingham Palace. With the Megxit review looming, the Sussexes are reportedly seeking a more permanent agreement which will allow them to remain living that Hollywood lifestyle while still maintaining their royal privileges. I expect the royals to make a clean break for Dampier, author of Royally Suited, Harry and Meghan in their own words, told New Idea exclusively earlier in the month. I don't think the Queen will want to strip them of their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles, although personally I think she should, because she doesn't want to make the situation worse. But she has made it clear that you can't be half in and half out. Alright guys, if you have anything to add there, leave a comment. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Tune in again tomorrow, same time, same place. Goodbye for now.